Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> I think we've heard everything that I have to say, but I've lived in town here for 22 years. I moved here with my wife who was born, brought up here in Goffstown. I met her in Portsmouth of all places. I'm originally from the seacoast. We have four kids. I'm a candidate for planning board and I served on the board back in the uh, 2005 to 2012. And then I moved to the zoning board from 2015 to today. And I'm running for re-election to the zoning board also. I'm professionally, I graduated from the University of Arizona, of all places, I went from here to Arizona to go to school. I, I studied and, and am a uh, professional architect and have been an architect in New Hampshire for 51 years. Um, someone might ask, well, how old are you? Well, I'm 78 years old and I'm still working. I still love it. I love this community and I want to continue affecting it as best I can. So what else do I do in town? Well, I've refed and umped Little League Baseball and soccer. I served on the Hillsborough County Land Use Study for the biggest property owner in town, Hillsborough County. I was a member of the Rotary Club for 35 years. I worked in the Way Home, which is a nonprofit agency in, um, for housing and homeless veterans shelter, which I built in Manchester for them. I'm a founder of the Bedford Men's Club, although I don't live in Bedford anymore. I did when I first came here in 1973. Currently, what am I doing currently? Well, currently I'm a trustee of Bowman Place in Bedford, which is a, a assisted living and I'm the founder and trustee. I've been involved in construction. I've owned a construction company in the 80s. I owned a computer mapping company, the forerunner of GIS, which is on everybody's phone. So I'm used to adapting to change and new developments. And I'm, a, I'm the eternal optimist. Now, what's an internal optimist? Every project that is, I have worked on, which is probably almost approaching 6,000 in New Hampshire over 50 years. Every project had its own unique character, and that's what I can use to, um, on the planning board to interpret what, what's being shown, what's being proposed, and how it might meet our ordinances. For instance, in Keene, I took the old middle school on Washington Street, converted it to housing, and then built a 135 unit apartment building in the back playing field. So there's opportunities everywhere. So I am able to interpret ordinances because they're all different in New Hampshire. If you go to Nashua, the zoning ordinance is 254 pages. There's challenges everywhere, but to simplify the process, that's what I want to do. Simplify the process of zoning planning to construction. It makes life easier for developers. And when I say that, my wife says, Alan, you need to get a tattoo on your arm that says, I promise, because that's the motto I live by. So if I make a promise, every project is positive. And I wish to thank everybody. Thank you. I wish for your vote on 17th. <laughs>